it won't be too long. Uh, salamanders on the uh, MSX is running on you. We'll uh, we'll give that a bit of a go in a second. Need to get the sound levels right in the TV. That'll probably do it. Using the joypad this time, so uh, we'll get that going. Right, four point three Scanline CPU. Uh, RAM cards. I think we're all good. I think we are. I'm pretty sure what the joystick swap is. Yeah, we're all forward. Right, I think we're good. Quite a hard game this is actually on you. It's fairly tricky to be honest. Yeah. I do quite like the MSX though. Even though it does scroll terrible. The do play exchange, what's that about? Hmm, let's just go with single player. Speed to Lattice. This is very different to the arcade um, Salamander or the NES version. Very different, actually. <laughs> I think. Oh, bomb. Oh, I went back to normal. Oh, oh wrong button. That was silly. Damn, so what's the second one that's usually um, normal firing? Well, it's usually bomb, sorry, the second one. I messed that up a little bit. Nice weapon as well. I'm not going to go down there for that one because I'm guaranteed to die. We're in a little bit of trouble, there. We're good, we're good. Blow up. Alright, let's go to the laser. Marvelous. Oh, well, it's better. Yeah, this is quite a different game. It's also solid. Oh, I just think I hit me then. I also forgot you've got a very wide hitbox in this game. I'm pretty sure you can run into that. Yeah. Got a weird screen pause. <laughs> Music scroller. Using that um, 
Konami SCC sound chip. Pretty awesome. I think it was actually in the cartridge. I do need to get some better weapons, I think. Yeah, I'm going to be screwed otherwise. We'll have got a bit of new Jew leader. I think. Oh shit. Ah oh, damn, I didn't see the bullet. It was in the power up. <coughs> right, I'm not gonna continue. Exchange in a second. Oh, that's ah, oh, right, okay, that's two player, but uh, can I? I don't want to do two player that actually. Can I just reset the machine? Let's have a look. Reset. Hopefully, it'll load the same ROM back up. Nah, it's a shame it didn't. Roms, Japan, Salamander, Salamander. <laughs> it's not quite the same as playing it on an emulator. You do have to sort of uh, unpack some of these uh, games and ROMs. The ROMs are not too bad though. Right, okay. <coughs> right, let's see if we can get a bit further this time. Might go for the option first, actually. Got that extra firepower. <laughs> Miss Lisa, then. Oh well. I was wondering how these swamps. Right, okay, you've got. Oh, right, you go over half the screen and then the, the missiles go the opposite side. I was wondering how that actually works. Don't know whether to get the uh, ripple laser or normal laser. Let's go for normal laser. You got some really different power ups in this game as well. Never actually got very far in this version, it's, it's pretty difficult. 
quick brutal attack actually. Right, okay, now we're in trouble again. Ooh, bloody hell, lots of bullets. Am I gonna get forward? Ah, oh, damn! That was happened in like slow motion then, for some reason. Ah, oh, damn, he's like right back there. Great. Like I said, this version of this game is tough. As I've gone in this game, ah, oh, sent you right back to there again. Nemesis games on the MSX of Rock Hard. Whether the the, um, the ripple laser, it would be my sort of weapon of choice in this game, but I don't know whether in this version of this game is worth having or not. Don't find out. I'm just going to use it for now. It does kill them quite fast, actually. A little bit trapped then. Sneaky bug of fight on me then. Bloody rocks fired as well, didn't he? Yep, back to you then.
come on. I think laser is probably the best weapon to get. Oh, fight at me again. I cannot get past this bit. Sometimes the screen just scrolls down and you hit it. Laser, I think, is probably the best weapon. Oh, rubbish at this. Show what those E weapon things do you pick up. Yeah, I'll keep pumping them things out. Sometimes our scrolling screws you up, man. Ugh, back to this again, no weapons. even got to the boss on this. So you have got an E level then, so the more E's you pick up, it is a thing at the bottom. So I wonder what that actually does. G says E, D, O, zero. I wonder what they actually do. I 
because I'll go for enough speed. Might be a bad idea, but we'll see. They got two at the bottom. What do they actually do? I have no idea. All right, Dino's going. Mate. Welcome to the House of Pain. Try to play this game for five years. Still can't get past the first level. Come on, look at all. Try to work out what those E things do you collect. Still not entirely sure what they actually do. Pick up laser. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, should be clean, but right. Ooh. I hate it when these things are firing this much. It makes it quite difficult. Glad I killed it. Right, force field next, I reckon. These things are a bit of a nightmare with the way they jump around. I got three options. Bit. Definitely need to get shield. I should be up there. This game's stressful. That one just goes down and up, and that one goes right the way across. That one also goes right the way across, which, ooh, I didn't make our last time I did it. Right, I think this is officially as far as I've ever got. Probably something crazy is going to happen now. Ah, oh, right, these are going to regenerate as well, aren't they? Yep. Oh great, it goes down. Ah, <laughs> uh, stop me off right here. Great. This game's rock hard. Far forward. You are suspiciously correct. This is indeed Salamander on the uh, MSX. Also, incredibly hard, and I'm terrible at it. <laughs> yeah, it's re this this version is very different to any other version. It's also bloody harder. As you can see, I literally got no weapons and they're firing all over the place at me. And 
it doesn't help, then I'm slow as shit. Right, okay. Right, I'm gonna go for two speeds, which might be a mistake, I don't know. I'm in trouble. Alright, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. Should have got a better weapon than that uh, force field, but oh well. I gotta stay back. Ah. Alright, you played it quite a bit, Will. Nice, nah, solid, isn't it? Yeah, happy weekend, mate. Oh, yes, it's, uh, I haven't managed to get past the first level yet, which is, <laughs> which is, which is not good. All of them are the same, man. The Nem all the Nemesis games and the Salamander games on you, they're all solid. Nemesis 2 is really hard on you. Stage one, this is. It is really different to the other version. And. Big bit, do you know what these. Um, those E's are for? Because I notice it fills up a meter. Great. You know, in some ways, I think I prefer the normal firing on this game. What are they for? They fill up at the box. But I don't know exactly what they fought. I know the Nemesis uh, games in here have got different weapons and stuff as well. You can even pinch on the second one. I think you can pinch the. Um... Yeah. You can pinch your weapons off the bosses, which is quite an interesting idea. Tell you what, read in chat while trying to play this. It's no fun. Oh, that was a bad move. So you got a hole thing. I, I, I don't know what that's for. Ah, right, okay. Oh. Yeah, it is. Loads harder. I probably should have got the speed up end, really, shouldn't I? Quite a different game as well, isn't it? In the arcade one. <sighs> this thing going well. Right, okay. I'm gonna go for the option, I think. the bomb really oh. I can't pass stage one no pretty much 
That's not good, uh, I want to stage one at least. <laughs> I really can't pass stage one. I'm trying. I'm not gonna lie, I'm trying my hardest. It's just not happening. Just as I went to collect them. <sighs> Let's try again. I want at least to put stage one. I'd be happy if I could do stage one. <laughs> it didn't help it, it starts you so far back as well. Gotta go for that nightmare with all those bloody balls again. Into my life balls. I might keep this fire in. I think this fire is probably the best. Just keep getting the options. Get a bombs. We'll have to look it up and see what those E's actually do. I'm not sure if that's what made my um, options stay in that one place. Kept them in position. A bit dangerous I was really. What do they actually do? Go for shield next, I think. We can get four options. Oh. Get so many options. my uh, orbs in position. Right, I don't like this bit. Oh my god, that's not funny. <laughs> okay. That was stupid. That was really stupid. Let me go back. Right. I'm going to stop firing, so I've got to go down somehow.
Oh, that's not funny. Oh, well, maybe. I'd say safe state it, but I'm gonna safe state. Ooh, that was lucky. Probably some stupidly crazy hard boss now. Here we go. Yep, we got a giant screw gun. Oh no, take us a brain. Same thing. So this is like the arcades. Uh, damn, that's gonna go spinning at me, isn't it? And I'm, I'm not particularly that fast. God. Oh, that's the end of the screen. That's not fair. That's the end of the screen. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that screen stops way before the end of the screen. That's... Okay. I don't know whether that's fair or not. <laughs> I thought I had a bit more room in. Ah, I can't believe that. I'm gonna get free speeds because I'm screwed about free speeds, I think. Especially if I get back to that boss. guard then with the screen you can't go that far forward it's gonna fight at me now as well I need to remember you can't go forward. That is the end of the screen. <sighs> that caught me out, that did. Actually, free speeds in this. It's not bad, actually. It's quite, it's quite nice. Weird, you? you get used. You get used to the jerky scrolling after a while. At least that's what I'm telling myself. It's a bit weird, on it. I, w I would never have played games that scroll this bad. Like, but I don't know. I've come to really like the MSX. Bizarre, like. I think it's, it's quite a cool little machine. This uh, core on the Mister for the MSX is pretty much perfect as well. It is actually better than the emulation. I noticed that on some of the games, they actually do scroll a little better than they do on the emulation. I'd say the emulation's bad on the PlayStation Classic, but I think the emulation is slightly off, if you know what I mean. It's still pretty good, though. One thing I will say, mind, on the PlayStation Classic, it's definitely easier to play your games. Yeah, you've got to unpack them, you've got to load them like you were using the actual computer. No idea how to use an MSX. Yeah, 
Yeah, free speeds is definitely quite nice. For the options. See, what is that? D hold. Ah, you can hold in position. That's cool. That's what we had last time, wasn't it? That's so many seconds then. Panic then, fired at me. Gotta be careful that that is literally the front of the screen. But this bit is a little bit dodgy. Whew, right, we're back through. Yeah, it's pretty solid. I'm gonna I'm playing on a pad as well, so which probably not quite as pretty nice pad, mate. <sighs> right, okay, I got a bit better speed. Well, I'm gonna speed up again. Uh, shall I do it? Yeah. Okay, it does make me a little bit faster. I wonder if I can start behind it. Do you reckon that's a good idea? No, probably not. Right, now I'm a little bit faster. Fast. Let's do it again. What oh, have I got it? Hey! <laughs> Might be now I got to level two. Oh no, I can't pause it. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a pause button. Unfortunately. A little bit hard to read <laughs> to read the comments when it's going on, if you know what I mean. That's cool. You get the vertical levels as well. I don't think there's a way of pausing the MSX. No. There might be a pause button on the keyboard. I'm not sure. God. Ain't being shy, is it, this game? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, great. Ah. Bulletin. It's a bit tricky to um right, I'm just trying to read the e capsule bit. Ah So we look I think I'm the trying to strain certain enemies. Collecting fifty will permanently upgrade one of your available weapons. Yeah, that's cool. Also, ships can combine to create a more powerful ship that also uses some of these extra weapons. That's cool. So in two player, then you can combine the ships. <laughs> the Spectrum version. 
Uh, I tell you what, now you've mentioned the Spectre version, let's have a go with it. Yeah, this, this version's pretty damn solid. I'm getting the anger, I was getting the anger of it though. I can't, I don't think I've ever played the Spectre version of this. Actually, I was playing Robocop in here the other day, uh, well, earlier on. Uh, right, let's have a look then. So, Spectrum Discs. Salamander. Is it actually on here? Oh, gone too far. Shadow, Shadow Man, Shadow of Beast. Um, ooh, it's not there. Okay, let's go back. Right, I have no idea how to load these tapes or anything, so this is this is going to be interesting. Um, tapes? All right, I think I clicked on the tapes directory actually earlier and it crashed. Oh God, yeah, damn right. I could I, I could go back playing Spectrum games. That's crazy. Hang on. I think there's something wrong with the tapes folder on you, unless it's stupidly big, which it might be. Yeah, I couldn't go back to playing Spectrum games. Right, so computers, Spectrum, so it's not in disk, let's try tapes. Right, okay, so, um, that's, oops. Get a weird bit. I've got it. I've got this uh, Mister set for the lowest lag possible, so I get a little bit of um, uh, sync capture card. Uh, so load tape, load snapshot, load snapshot, snapshots. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that don't work either. Oh, see, does ah maybe it is the directory is just massive. I, yeah, I can imagine the tapes directory. I'll have to have a look at that. Not if I'm ever going to play Spectrum games of mine, but... Uh, uh, can't see it. Satan. Satan's Pendulum. Okay. Ah, we have, we, we, we're missing it here. We haven't got it. Uh... I didn't even know what came out on the um, Spectrum. Samurai Warrior. Uh, okay. Let's try... Let's try cartridge in. Nothing in there. Let's go back. Uh, um, disk image... Uh, is that the cartridge one as well? I'm not sure if... Ah, uh, maybe there's no cartridges on you. Ah, it was worth a go. Should we just should, should we just attempt this tapes directory? Right, I've pressed it. Let's wait. Let's give it thirty seconds, just in case this tape directory is probably humongous. Yeah, I remember our type being half decent on the spectrum for his time. I had a Spectrum once, but not back in the day. But um, I knew somebody who had one. And we uh, used to go over his house and uh, play in it, basically. That's what I remember. I remember, like, in um, Chase HQ and uh, Robocop. Yep, I think this tape directory is either broken or is stupidly big. Oh, no, it isn't broken. It's just stupidly big. Okay. Jesus. The hell was that then? They sold sex crime, okay. We won't play that. Uh... Salamander. Hit squad. Oof. It was a cheap release then. Right, I have no idea how to do this, so do I just click load and it works? Oh yeah it does. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, I haven't seen this loading screen for years. So you've got to load it at tape speed as well. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. 
I know you can actually plug a, a tape deck into this as well. You can get a, um, a little extra connection that goes onto it. I've got to be honest, why you would want to do that, I have no idea. But oh, This is fantastic. Is that J for joysticks? Okay. Uh, I think it's set up with a Kempton joystick. Here we go. It's going to be fantastic. Oh my god, I couldn't go back to play this. <laughs> oh, it does power up for you, does it? Oh, this is fantastic. We're at the height of retro now, boys. Height of retro. Oh, it's fast. How am I supposed to get for that? Okay. I think I'll have to um, cut that tape directly down a bit. Like I said, not I'm ever really going to play Spectrum games, but... Oh, that's not going to help me much, is it? Oh, this is fantastic. God, that's stupidly fast. Andrew and Stuart, what well, they created you was something special. I gotta admit, some of, some of the stuff they did on the Spectrum, for what it was, was quite impressive. But I still can't understand people that will only play Spectrum games. They, they've just got to be insane. Why? <laughs> why would you do? Why would you do that to yourself? Like, just only play Spectrum games. That's bound to come down and kill me. What's that? See, I, I, I think I, I consider giving up gaming if I literally had nothing but this to play. I know there are some decent Spectrum games. I think there comes a time when you just got to move on and... <laughs> As much as I like retro games as well. I love that spectrum noise. Okay. Ah. I gotta get past that bit. Alright, we'll try that one out. Oh, I don't know how to load C64 games. <laughs> You gotta type it into load it. I I can't remember how to do it. It's not like Spectrum. You can click the loader. You've actually got to type it in. Is this something like C load or something like that, or load star star hash or some something along our lines on C64? I can't really remember. I only ever owned one once, and that was like a few years ago. I'm gonna go above this time because that that one's dangerous. And I'm gonna, oh, I couldn't get down. Yeah, damn right that is. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna play much of the way of Spectrum games. Uh, let's have a look. Commodore 64. Right. And we remember how to load Commodore 64 games? <laughs> so I don't. I should ask my mate. He knows this thing or two about Commodore 64. Oh, hang on. Got a bit of sync issues a second. Hopefully that'll correct itself. Right. Uh, I've pressed a button. But I'm not sure whether it's trying to read the menu or something. Give it a second, because there might be a stupid amount of disks in there as well. D64 and T64. Right, it's not doing anything. I'm going to assume it's doing the same sort of loading thing as the last one. After this, we've got something a bit better. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind... Um... Oh, you are. Um, I don't mind some stuff, but yeah, just generally sort of NES is usually as far as I'll go back, to be honest. 
sometimes a bit of um uh what do you call it vectrex is quite cool but it's cool on the vectrex if you know what i mean it's just quite a novelty if you know what i'm saying uh salamander uh it didn't look like it's on yeah nope not in yeah it's not in tapes i'm tape 64 i'm assuming that is i mean it loves that saboteur yeah it's not on you Right, so that enable load program file, low cartridge. Is it on cartridge? Cartridges might be a bit easier. Uh, not on cartridge either. Ah, failing beer. Robocop 2, Robocop 3. Okay. Load program? No, that's not going to do anything. D64, go back. Let's try and load one game just for the L of it, seems to be here. Forbidden Forest 2, I don't think I've ever played that. So many games back in the day, we just lost sync a bit then. Um, at least I did anyway, I don't know whether you did. Hmm. Remember what trying to think what what was that um it was a game like Treasure Island. Was it just called Treasure Island? Remember that being alright? Let me see, Treasure Island, is that on you? Uh Treasure, Treasure Readers, Treasure Quest, Treasure Island, oh, Mastertronic Treasure Island. Right, how the hell do you load tapes? Can you remember what we're doing? Um, I do not know how to do it. Wasn't it something like load? I had no idea what to do it. Don't think you can do it from the menu either. Tape load. Oh, I wonder if you can just do it for tape play. Hang on, let's just try. Let's just try something. Does it actually? Ah, it does it for you. Okay, you got tape. Oh, right. Okay. Or it's just type load, is it? Or how about I typed in? Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I need to look this up really to work out how the hell this works. So I have no idea how to uh, use the Commodore. Anyway. Let's go back to... That was the computer I had as a kid. Let's have a look at this a minute. Yeah, this is, is it load? Right, okay. Maybe we'll go back to that then, try it out. Hang on, we got a sync issue a minute. Right, okay then, I'll go back to that a minute. Uh, Commodore 64. Oops, gone past it. All right, give it a try. I tried that, it didn't work. Like I said, I don't really know how to use Commodore, so... I can't, I can't remember how to load games on the Atari either, even though I had one as a kid. Um, so mount tape drive. So if I mount... Um, let's have a look, what should we mount? B sixty four. Let's try um 
I try to think of something. BM, BMX bandits? No. I try to think of something I've played before. There's probably loads of them I've played before, actually. Right, so if we load that. Why haven't I got a... Why haven't I got a picture? That's a question. Yeah, let me reset the core a minute. That is disk. Okay. Actually, I don't think the call is working properly because uh, we should have had. Uh, let's restart it. Sometimes it does that. You load the call up. I don't think it quite loads properly. Sometimes the machine needs a restart. <laughs> right. Computer. Yeah, sometimes you just need to give it a bit of a reboot. Just see if we can get, uh, yeah, I'm still losing. Oh, no, it's back. Right, here we go then. If I, right, we're going to be here for ages now. Wait for it to open this menu a second. Oh, D64 is disc, is it? Ah, so it's disc 64 and T64, I'm guessing it's tape. Uh, then to, to load. You gotta type D sixty four space it's is it? Let me just pick one and see if I can get it loaded. Any problem this keyboard I got is good it's such a small keyboard, it's really hard to see the bloody numbers on it. Um which doesn't help. Um American Express. Oh, our Chalmers class. Right, so that's a tape 64 then. So, what do you reckon you do? That's a load space. Right, okay. Right, I, I see. So to load tapes then, I have literally a can't type load. I've got to do uh, L-O-A-D space. Uh, space. Uh, any problem, this, this keyboard, I need to figure out, it's, it's not a full-size keyboard. Oh. Was it? Um, Stop. Where the hell is star on this keyboard? Just trying this out to me, see so if I can figure out where star is. It's one where you've got to hold down the function keys and stuff because there's a little tiny keyboard. Um, oops. It's what? This is not easy. Um, Nope. What the hell is bloody star this keyboard? Hang on. Oh, it's just load. Okay, I'll try that now. Uh, two of them, is it? No? D No. Yeah, I got one of these little tiny keyboards. Yeah, just try that. L O A D and then oh, star. Is it just the one, is it? Uh I 
Exception file name or error. Yeah. Yeah, no space. I give up on this in a second. I need a full size keyboard, I think. That would uh, that would help. Yeah, it's not working. Mm. Let me have a look. Where Star is on this keyboard. Jeffy feeling beer. Where the hell is Star on this keyboard? It's not in the same place it normally is. Um, we're even just taking a picture of this keyboard really close. I got it. I believe. Um, according to that, that is Star. Hell? This keyboard's a weirdo, I tell you. Nope. Oh. Shift and eight according to this. Ah, oh, why the hell that don't work? Okay, I'll try that now, I'll try run. Oops. Are you and run statement error? Right. Yeah, the same in this. It says um, it should be all down shift and eight, but it does that. That's not what the keyboard says. So, which is, it's not function eight either, because function eight does that. But that's what's like, it's actually on. Weird man, this keyboard is a. I need a. I need a better keyboard, I think. Or don't play Commodore sixty four games, one or the other. Yeah. Let's try. Let's try. No. Nope. Oh God, let's just put that over there. Now this keyboard, the keys are a bit all over the place, aren't they? Like the stars on um, number eight, but so you should be holding down shift because all the other um, symbols you hold down shift and you get them. But for eight, which basically has got a star, it doesn't work. So why the hell doesn't that work? Uh, must be an easier way of doing it somehow. Uh, no. Let me just go for the keys, right? Maybe that's not the right key on a, uh... Everything but star. But it's not. It's not a... Uh, oh god. Uh, control alt. No, that doesn't do it either. Gives me some weird symbol that does. Nope. Alt. Uh. Right, I'm changing colors and shit now. Yeah, this keyboard's. I do need to get a proper keyboard. I think this is all. Um, shift and escape. Ah, nice one. Shift and escape. That works. Oh, it's doing something. Oh, that works. Shift and escape. Yeah, Produce and the MSX is pretty good, but it's it's difficult. Yeah, it's a good one. It's got some really cool music. Well, we worked it out. <laughs> right, I 
tell you one thing, I don't think I set my... So I never really play on console games to be honest, but on the white screen, I got put in PAL resolution that I don't want to be doing that. I'm going to resync it a second. I'm just going to resync. Yeah, the, the uh, capture card is going to resync as soon as you put in PAL. That's not the option I want. Come on, come back, come back to life. Right, here we go. Um, it's not uh, flicking off on the um, stream though, is it? So it'd just be when it's coming back out of my capture card and going to the telly. It must be losing a bit or something. Ooh. Let's do that. Save, cancel. All oh, right, that works. Pity I couldn't find Salamander though. Only works for players. Right, I don't even know what game this is. It's mount image then. Oh, it's Archon. Right, okay. Can I skip it? No, the training only works in one player mode. Only the other player is trained as a computer opponent. Okay. Ah. Yeah, it looks like a cracked version. Uh, hang on, let's find something that... BMX Simulator. Anyone remember that? I remember buying off my Atari. So if I reset the core... If I reset it... And then what was it? It was... Uh, was a shift and that's it shift and uh, escape caracas what's that i'll have a look it might be on you yeah. i'm actually working uh no it doesn't look like it is what's it called well, it is working. Just take a while to load. Right, okay. We'll have a look at that. Uh, that other game. Oh, I used to remember this game. Change controls. Right, press S to start. Oh, I can't remember this. I remember going literally to um, Wal one Walmart, it was um, Carrefour. And used to have um, places in um, Kefili. I remember going to Carrefour and picking this up for my Atari. God, that was a long time ago. Carrefour left uh, the UK probably about uh, 30 years ago. <laughs> probably longer than that, actually. Uh, am I supposed to be doing laps? Is that it? Oh, free laps, right, okay. What happens once I've done my free laps then? That's, that's fantastic. Did the game just crash? Ah, it's best to be two player options, isn't it? Right, okay, at least we've worked that out anyway. So, what was that game you mentioned? You're on about Karateka. Uh, people call it Karateka, you got me doing it now. It's Karateka. Right, okay. Um, see, that is Karateka, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Terrican, yeah, that, that might actually be. Let's try, let's try and run this for the elevate. Let me do a restart. Then I don't know if this is going to run the disc. <laughs> we'll see now. Yeah, Terracon, I'll, I'll go with that. Terracon was originally um, a C64 game as well, wasn't it? 
Oh yeah, it does. It runs the uh, discs as well. Nice. It's better than typing stuff in, isn't it? Ah, right. Okay, it needs to be in pals, is it? Caratus? Is it Caratus or Karadika? Hang on. Do you see you say Caratus? Oh yeah, it is it. They do characters then. Uh, oh shit, I've gone past it then, wouldn't I? Right, okay, let's do the reset. The joys of ends of uh, Commodore 64, is it? Just like the joy of painting and the joy of sex, the joy of uh, Commodore 64. <laughs> Characters. I don't think I've ever used that game. Yeah, niche retro. Oh, niche. Ah, oh, Rainbow Arts, is it? Ooh. Go past the loading screen. By the way, press it. Trainer or high school? How do I uh, how do I get past this bit? I just just do whatever that is. Uh, ah, come on. Great, now we've got to find the key on the keyboard now that does uh that does that. Right, can I skip this? Nope, can't skip it. Press T you said, is it? Yeah, just try T. Or H. Uh Yeah, I tried it, eh? Oh hang on. I wanna check N first. Uh no. I think I just enabled some cheats. Is that supposed to happen? Has that crashed? That's the question. Oh no, it's not. Caratis. Okay. My oh god, F1, here we go. This keyboard does not do F1 particularly probably. Uh, that is shift. Ah, oh, bugger. The problem is keyboard, I think this keyboard is lying to me. Yeah, I think some of these keys on this keyboard are not working out. I'll teach you by Chinese keyboard, I suppose, isn't it? Come on, that is the F F1 key. I've got it. I'm pressing it. Oh, hang on. Right, you got to hold down the function key to get to F1. Right, okay. It's decrunching. Oh, this is good. Ooh. Ah, I think I have seen this before. Why is this stopped? Did I just pause it? What happened then? I think I may have just paused it. Quicker. Press the fire button, I did. Nope. It's not working out too well. Yeah, I think I've seen this this game before. But I have no idea why that's paused. I'm right, just pressing all the keys and see what happens. 
going on? What did I do? Did something. Yeah, I have reconfigured. The, the, the controls are done. Oh, as soon as I press a button, it uh, crashes. Um, let's have a look. Escape out a minute. Right, left, down, up. I want fire two, fire three. And. Uh. Nope. Nah, it just pauses. Ah. I need to sort of work these things out. It's not like playing on the classic when you just put it on, it works. Quite, I do quite like the idea of just putting it on and it works. Falcon 2 came out on the, uh... Yeah. Interesting. God knows how to do swap ports. Ah, um, yeah, maybe that's what that swap thing is for. That swap option. Uh, is, it, is it on you? Um, is it left and right? Yeah, swap port. Ah. Well, that may be what that swap port thing is for then. Oh God, I don't want to crack. Uh, in the game, six level turret can crack by. Okay. Okay. Do I skip it? It's all complicated and stuff. Press return. No, press that. No. Press that. No. Why can't I get past it? Hmm. Right, okay, I got it. Nice one. Didn't realize the um, Commodore 64 looks like that when it's loaded. What did uh add some slightly different loading? Yeah, oh well. Ah, the original Terrica. Oh, the buttons are working. The question is, how do I start it? Start, you know. It's not fun. Uh. Access, return. Right, okay, let, let me try that swap there. Uh... It is I. Let me try that swap port. Did actually work, swap port. Uh, right, so how do I do I just put the other disk in? Side B and press space. Does that work? Oh, it does. Cool. Hey, yeah, I did swap ports. That's what, that's what did it. So that's why that swap port option is there. Ah, right, okay. We'll have a go with some Neo Geo or something now in a minute, but we'll give us a try. I said just pause again now I've pressed the button. Yeah, I think it has. Ah. Yeah, there's something weird going on with the controls. You press the button and it pauses it. Hmm. I don't know why that is doing that. Um No. For some reason it's pausing when I press the uh, press the button.
I don't know. It's, it's the it's the control things. It is. No, I think I think this core's going to need a little bit more sort of figuring out. Because I don't really know how to use the Commodore. So. All right. Okay. Right. Anyway, let's go for something different. Something easier to use. Um. Oh, what I found uh, earlier is uh, on the SNES core. This is quite cool. This is. Remember, um, the other week I was playing um, um, Thunder Force, and it's quite slow on the uh, on the SNES. Well, in here there's a turbo option. You put the turbo option on. It's like using the SA1 chip. But you can use it on all games. So. Yeah, Thunder Spits doesn't actually seem like it's uh, you're playing in slow motion. So you can you can basically put that turbo on and get rid of the slowdown. It's not perfect. It doesn't get rid of absolutely everything. Uh, so if I do oh, fire weapon uh, and speed, put the rapid on. No, if as long as the turbo's on, which I'm pretty sure it is. Now you are, you have to set it, you have to set it in game. So if I put the turbo on, uh, no, it's basically like it's been SA1 hacked. So this is actually quite a nice playable version of the game, though. Apparently, as well, I was watching. Um, I was watching the video. The actual guy that came up with the Mister Project actually did the conversion for this game, uh, for this core. So he actually did the SNES score because he likes the, he likes the SNES. And this really does seem like a different game. I think I a little bit of slowdown here and there, but generally the slowdown's gone. Now I tried it on Gradius as well, so any games with slowdown in, you can essentially get rid of the slowdown. Really cool feature, that. So there's no need to wait for um, SA1 hacks, though. It must be like pretty much like a boost clock or something for the um, CPU. Um, it hasn't been released yet, the Saturn Core. That's pretty awesome they're doing a Saturn and PlayStation Core. I'm not sure. The cores will automatically download on you. So apparently the PlayStation Core plays 2D. That from what I've heard, they reckon that could be the limit of this FPGA is um, the play. But that's pretty awesome if they get them running. They are supposedly both coming out, so... I tell you what, this does feel like a completely different game. I did say this uh, game would actually be really good, and I think it's quite a bit better. It's just a bit weird playing it fast. Just 
still is a little bit of slowdown, but generally it's, it's a, a marked improvement. Quite a big improvement, I would say. And, uh, I just missed my um, shields as well, didn't I? Yeah, wave slowed this game down loads on the uh, Carter's run. Ridiculous amount, actually. Dun, 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 dun. I gotta admit, I am liking this, Mister. I think it's uh, it's very good. I I have got in um, no input lag mode, so basically there's no frame buffer. This is why you get, I'm getting a slight um, sync issue when recording, but you have to let me know. Is, is the sync disappearing every occasionally when I'm in the menus on the actual um, on the stream? I'm not sure if it's just when it's, it's basically rooting it back to my TV. Oops. It's where the sync is jumping out. Ah. Oops. This fire level can uh, you can die faster than this level. Get it wrong. I right, still got the missiles. We're all good. This is like the Mega Drive one, though, basically. Apart from the music is not as good, but apart from that. Ooh. Yeah. That's it in the snare spot. What's wrong with the menu? Can't see the menu properly or something? Ah. Yeah, this level is really slow normally. They're not quite full speed, but a hell of an improvement. Definitely making it a lot more playable. Was a little bit of a pain in the ass because we would slow down a lot. Um, they built you would go a little bit funny. Another game I, uh, I might have a go of later because I had a few goals earlier in the week was um, Scat on the uh, NES. Seems quite a cool little game, I does. Actually, but uh, go for it anyway. So this version is it's quite a nice version because it's got um, some new levels and stuff. There's like two levels in it, so not in the other versions. Quite a bit harder.
Come on, die, boss. Yeah, it's definitely quite a bit better. Oh yeah, back right to call would be biz. Pretty much, yeah. We are on a Mr. Emulating uh, real hardware. It is. We'll have a go there after. That's on you as well. And there's, um, it's not on. I haven't got it on you, but um, lung and fever on calls coming out soon as well. They're testing it at the moment. Yeah, this Mister seems really good. Like Emily in the real hardware, seems pretty awesome to be honest. Probably one behind me screwed me over then. Ah, <laughs> I should have gone forward. <laughs> and I missed the power up. I could get that one on the snares. Probably need to slow my speed down actually. That's why I probably should have done actually. Yeah, the CPS one core is the biz as well. left, it's not good. I thought there was a weapon in Boss rams you first time, don't it? I always forget about that. I like modern games as well, mind. I do love the retro games a lot though, so you probably may have noticed. Yep, yeah, Dodon Apache is definitely awesome after 5 seconds. It's a laser in here or something. Oh shit, that was the laser. You need a weapon of fires on the floor, really, at this level. Or at least it comes in handy. Right, now that's a laser. i have to do a 1cc on this now, won't I? For the uh, full speed mode. Okay. Ah. Well, that's definitely a fair improvement. Whatever SNES games are really slow.
I haven't played Doom Eternal for a while either. I did finish it, but I loved it. It was, it was fantastic. I, I will say though that it was it was fun on normal up until about three quarters of the way through the game, and then it got so ridiculous and hard that it started not becoming that much fun. So I ended up chucking it on easy, which was which I hardly ever do to be honest. But it, it wasn't even though it wasn't easier. It wasn't easy. It was a, a little bit more enjoyable. I think I got to the point where it was just getting solid. It was just basically trying to do one section over and over and over to get past it, then try and do another section. And that game definitely spikes up as soon as you get those knights in there with the dog things they check it in. They're utter bastards and things, huh? But it is a fun game and it does look pretty fantastic. Right. I think something else is uh, quite slow on the SNES. Uh, I, I used to love that game. Top Gear Racing or Top Racer, whatever it's called in uh, in Japan. Uh, and the cover cops. That's a re quite a nice conversion. That's actually the arcade. Loves those East games. Um. It's worth quite a bit of cash this day at the end of cover cost. So I may still got his original view as well. I do like a PS5, I gotta say. Um, but I have, <laughs> I will admit, I have mostly been playing PS4 games on it. I did enjoy Dark Souls though. Uh, Demon Souls, sorry, that that's fantastic and looks amazing. If you like the, if you like the Demon Souls games, I don't know. I don't think they've done uh, Gun Force yet. Played Demon Souls on it. Uh, I got a few of the other games as well. I got a really nice rally game as well. I do like a, I do like a, a rally game every now and then. It's good. I said the only problem with the um, those type of calls, they've got to be made specifically for that hardware, haven't they? Thanks, go for the arcade calls if you want. There's quite a lot of them on you. Yeah. Right, okay. Quite a nice arcade game this is as well. Nice looking. Okay. the R shot. I had R type on it then as well, didn't it? Grab is quite good. Start moving. Come 
Yeah, maybe. You got that uh, Returnal, which looks pretty fantastic. That's coming out. Um, and you got matching the Clan Club, but uh, that's going to be uh, pretty impressive. That looks amazing. That game does. And I've played a few of those Ratchet and Clank games, and they are good fun. Um, trying to grab him. That run is a little bit tricky to do. Uh, right, I'll show you the arcade codes. Uh, If I go back, pause. Right, what do you want me to try? Yeah, Hyper Neo Geo, they might be able to do that on you. Never know, like. I know, like I said, no, the, um, the guy who did the CPS 1 core is working on the CPS 2 core, which uh, he's already put a beta out of that already and a test thing. Um, and he was talking about doing a couple of single arcade games, and then he was uh, possibly talking about doing PGM. Now we're talking. But a PGM would be fantastic. Dodon Pachi. Dai Makarmora. I was playing the um, arranged version. It's got different music. Play that version. Um, I don't think Gun Force 2 is on you. Let me side up a minute and then, uh... Oh, hang on. Now I'm getting some weird sync issues. Which you don't seem to be having, so it is obviously in the past back. Right, okay, that's cool. Uh... So I don't think it's no, a gunfight is on you. Probably gun force is probably a little bit too new. Right, uh let me do white buttons. Uh let's have a look. Right, I don't want that on. Actually that does give me vertical scan lines. Save that. Did they make any games for... Oh, the Hyper Neo Geo 64? Yeah, they made a few games. They made, uh, I think it was two Fatal Fury games. Uh, a Samurai game. There might have been two of them. There was um, Bereki or something. Bereki 1 or Buki 1 or whatever is another fighting game there was a like an off-road racing game for it i to think what else they did for it um i'm sure they did one or two other games as well yeah so this is like an arranged version basically okay. two one go I don't know what difference it is in the arrangements. I know the boss music's different and the ships are a different colour. And it starts you with full bombs, but look at it. You could play this in um, Tate mode as well. Trap myself in the corner.
Yeah, it does sound like jazz. <laughs> It's weird, isn't it? It reminds me of something like, um, I don't know, like a Lupin movie or something like that. Like a spy, like a sort of like cheesy spy movie. It doesn't loop particularly well either. Yeah, maybe it has. It's hard to chain in this game anyway. I'm not good at doing that. That's how to get high scores in their bases to do the chaining. I'm sure that blows up a bit easier as well. a little bit different this version so I'm not entirely sure all the differences in it but it's quite cool they put it on yeah <laughs> we had this music <laughs> well, some of the bullets are a different color as well aren't they like these ones Yeah, Samurai's wicked. I put, um, oh, the second one, is it? Uh, second Samurai Games. I Bereki one, that's the one I was on about. I'm, I don't think I've actually played it. Oh, yeah, Beastbusters, I forgot about that. I, I quite like the original. The original arcade was wicked. Yeah, they did a new one on there, didn't they? Say it up it. Do, do, 
I think this was pretty much the first cave game I ever played. When the first when it was first released on MAME. Oh, my bombs now. I'm in trouble. Especially if I do this, I'm definitely in trouble. <laughs> Tricky to get through a bit. Is it over? Ah, right. I'm not sure if this is the one the trap made. It might have be. been. Yeah, trap did some. Uh, he did a nice version of Ketsui as well. I can ask how much it's going for these days. Yeah. Yeah, I played it on Mame. I did. I remember when I first played this, I was just like, "Oh wow, this game is brilliant." I, I literally just couldn't stop playing it on Mame. I was hooked on cave games after playing this, basically. Yeah, I never, I never actually played the Saturn version back in the day. I bet it was wicked to actually have the Saturn version back in the day, you know. Except we're a bit spoiled these days by emulation and stuff, aren't we? But um, yeah, to have that back in the day would have been the business to have on Saturn. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's pretty much okay, perfect. He's missed the cause. Ah, oh, damn, I went a little bit too far then. I had loads of bombs as well, damn. Should use the bomb. Power up. Power up. I am going to use a bomb. Oh, I don't want to use a bomb. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, the original Don Patchy. I didn't play the original Don Patchy till quite a bit after. And I, I thought this was the first one. And then I discovered that there's actually one before it. I haven't played that one very much though. I'm pretty sure, didn't I get a conversion to the Saturn as well? The one I haven't played a huge amount is the PGM uh, Don Patch 2. I know Cave didn't actually do that version, but it seems quite interesting. It's not quite a Cave game, mind. I survived that then.
getting a little bit trapped then. It's probably what's going to happen here. Ah, too far. Now we're starting to get tricky. <laughs> I'm using my bomb for that. Did use my bomb. Are you ready? I bet it always catches me out. <laughs> I didn't get to the bomb in time. I might just bomb it just to get rid of it. Just cheesy like a little bomb. Ah, oh, that's cool. It probably is, I'm not actually looking at it. Probably that's one thing about this version, it's probably, it's probably easier to chain. Oh, that's the, that's the uh, arranged version. I think there's going to be an update to keep your scores as well, because at the moment, I don't think it keeps any of the scores. It's like an arcade machine where your scores disappear when you turn it off. Um, let will go with the, uh, the original version. you got to set your controls up for each score. Uh, for each core, like. Yeah, both of them are very good. I like, I like, uh, Batsugan on the, uh, Saturn as well. I think it's brilliant. For years, that was pretty much the best version to play as well, wasn't it? But, um... It was because of uh, a meme. It was missing the sound on it for quite a while. Right, let's do my buttons. Right, uh, 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 uh. Oh, fine. Oh. Oh, I think I did them wrong then. That kind. Oh, okay. Vertical scan lines are on. Say that there is a few other things you can you could do. You can have a stretch out, which is terrible. Can change the orientation so you can basically put in Tate. I bet this is perfect in Tate mode. You can flip the screen as well, so if you want to play it upside down. And then there's extra scan lines, but they're only um, horizontal scan lines. You can have a weird, like, um, I don't know, like a weird pixely look if you wanted to. Uh, advanced. Yeah, so I've got running at that frame rate. My TV seems to handle it quite well. That's about it, please. Yeah, I think it is. They are trying to get a lot of cave games working, so I'm hoping they do a PGM call, because then the three most popular pick cave games are essentially work then, if you do a call for them. Because they, they're pretty much PGM hardware. Ketsui, Dodon Apache, Daiju, and um, uh, Escaluda. I don't know if Escalade is the most popular cave game, but they all run off PGM hardware, so I think they, um, the guy who did the CPS call, people have been asking him to have a look at PGM, and I think he's had a go with it, and uh, he said he quite likes the games on it, so I think he might end up doing a call. 
Guys, well, Tal did as well. He said um, he wanted, oops, he wanted to release a, um, a co two calls a month, but his patrons, um, he didn't want to annoy his patrons by making them do the patron thing twice a month. But uh, I think he's been told now that basically people just do as many calls as you want. So that's what he's open to do. There's a really interesting um, interview with him on um, Retro RGB. I think his name's Joe Tog or something. It's quite an interesting interview with him. He talks about basically how he did a lot of his calls. Very talented guy, got to say. Caught in a bit of a corner there, didn't they? Up. Damn right, that is. What's that? Oh, you got the artwork as well, Bill. Nice. Oh, the, the shooters of the past are still some of the best shooters. Not to say there's not some good shooters c coming out. There's some good stuff on Steam. In fact, that... that um, oh, what's it called? The... Uh, Blazing... Blazing something, I think it's called. New game. Rage, no, Raging Lasers. That, that's, that's brilliant. Steam is where most of the good new shooter maps are turning up. Can't forget uh, LS Day 3 as well, which is pretty fantastic. I wonder where I am on the uh, high score table for that. Been knocked out to 9th place last time I looked. Mate, this still this still is a fun shooter. I think there's a um, shmup. I don't know about a competition, but uh, shmup thing coming up very shortly. I'll have to have a look into that. I'm pretty sure it's this month. Might be even be this weekend. Exhibition thing coming up. So actually, I'll have to figure that out because it might actually be this weekend. You're done yet a couple more shots yet. Oh, there you go. A little bit trapped then. Yeah, shrubs are like that, aren't they? I, I love shrubs. Yeah, Steam is good. There's, there's some brilliant shops on Steam. 
there's been some really good stuff uh, released this year as well. Um, uh, Raging Blasters, that's what it's called, not Raging Leaders. Raging Blasters, um, long come out. That, that's brilliant. Then you add uh, Super XYX, which is fantastic as well. In fact, that's a really good game, I I hate this one. It always confuses the shit out of me with that fight over there. a bit of a situation there. Hang on a minute. Very true, Oz. Especially if you are really challenging yourself and trying to do them on one credit, which I don't like to play them, to be honest. That's why I don't care, like, when some people, like, a lot of modern people will play shmups and they'll just continue all the way through it. I go, that's crap, it only lasts me like half an hour. Then, if you're really challenging yourself, you, you could literally just play that game for almost a lifetime. Ah, I thought I had enough bombs then. Crazy wish maps, they may last about half hour, but they've got so much replayability to them. You know, if you want to try and play them properly as they should, you know, the old arcade rules of one credit. Oh, don't get me wrong, sometimes it's fun to blast through them just to see what's going on, but um, one credit is the way to go. Old school. Yeah, I got it. And a lot of them, like especially the cave games, they've got a lot more to them as well. It's not just surviving, is it? You've got your scoring and then you've got your chaining and stuff as well. That, that, that adds something completely extra on top that makes the game sort of almost fresh again. These maps are definitely a lot more replayable than a lot of other games, I find. Not say other games are not replayable as well, mine, but... Starting to get a little bit confused then. Yeah. Should take those side ones out, shouldn't I? Keep up with the bomb in the end. Hello. Welcome to the room. Yep, it is Happy Friday. It is fantastic. Ah, cool, that's the way. Yep. 
Yeah, that's right, that is. I like modern gaming as well, you know what I mean? But um, I got admit, I do play a lot more retro than I do modern gaming. It's like, since I've had the Mister, that's all I've done is play in the Mister. Plus, it's been fun, sort of, uh, working out how it all works and uh, how the cores work and how to do the memory cards. So, I quite like that part of it as well, so. I think I've got it reasonably sus, though. I put a new um, SD card in as well. I bought a 256 gig one and uh, reset it up from scratch. Ooh. Extra life is gonna kick in. It's probably a bad move moving over there. does help in these games and it have a little bit of a plan and a route going through the games that was lucky I'm definitely going to use a bomb with it Yeah, it seems really good, the mister, i got to admit. So the computer cores are good, but uh, you obviously take a bit of a mess in around with. You need to know how to use the actual computers. No, nothing you can't Google mine, though, is it? As I die. Yeah, nothing you can't Google, like, if you need, you need to sort it out. But you need a keyboard, but the console cores and the arcade cores are really good. I am going to ROMs you. You can... I think there's there's a setup file for the mister that will go off and actually download the ROMs you as well. Like, all the ROMs you actually need are all on Internet Archive. If you have a look on there, you can find pretty much everything you need on that site. Presented by Cave. The setup's pretty simple. There's, um, if you have a look at the official um, Mr. Wiki, there's two ways of setting up the um, card. The second way didn't work for me, but basically you just download an image file. You put in the SD card in your PC or whatever. Download um, like an SD card image. It tells you where to go to get it, and you download a free SD card image burning software. You just burn the image to the card, chuck it in the Mr., and then pretty much it once it, when it boots up. It, it basically sets the card up for you with all with literally everything you need on it uh, and then you just run the update script update all then that goes off pretty much does all the cores and everything for you so you'll never have to try and um, download the cores and then um, it's just a matter of sort of putting the ROMs on there or finding that script that downloads the ROMs apparently there's two of them I can't I don't know the names of them and they both go off and download all the ROMs for you Yeah, it's it's not that bad. I thought it might be a little bit confusing, but uh, when I when I looked it up, it, it it's quite easy. When, once you get the right thing to set it up, it's pretty simple. It literally take you like, I know, by the time you download it, it take you like two minutes to actually burn the card, check it in, and then it just does its thing. Plus, there's a few eBay sellers. The guy I bought mine off, uh, 
it's all pretty much preset up for you. Which is quite nice, right? Right, what other games, what other arcade games have you got? The original Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. Quite like Donkey Kong 3. When you shoot, uh, let's have a go there. I like shooting Donkey Kong in the balls. It's great. Like, like I said, I work in IT anyway, so I suppose, in a lot of ways, I do find it uh, quite fun. Actually, messing around with stuff. Right, that, whatever resolution that thing's running at, it does not like my capture card. It's gone off. Right, so see if you get a picture. Interesting. Oh, hang on, it's gone off. Yeah, I'm I'm not getting a picture. Let me reboot it. Yeah, certain certain things don't like the capture card too well. I think the capture card is really made for sixty FPS. You start putting in uh, some weird arcade signals into it, and it can uh, it can play up. Well, when my telly's right, if I take it away from the capture card and plug it directly in the telly, it works fine. Plus, like I said, there's free. Um, Popeye, I like the arcade of Popeye. It's quite cool. Uh, there's there's free V-Sync options on you, um, which I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean now. If you basically once once you run that image, you end up with this. Basically, and all your cores are all in these different places, and you got these two. Just chuck a keyboard in, press F12, and then you go into scripts, and literally everything you need is in here. So all all you do then is once you've done it, you just go to update all. You click that. Like I'll just do it now for the elevator. You click that and it pretty much goes off, checks um on GitHub and Wiki and everything for the cause. And pretty much updates anything it needs updating. So literally you don't have to do anything. And it'll skip anything that doesn't need updating. I'm pretty sure Kung Fu Master is actually on you. When this goes off, we'll have a look. Yeah, so th this script, literally, as long as you kind of connect it to the internet, I got like a wireless dongle in there. Um, it literally just goes off, so like it's downloading the uh, latest MSX course, so that's been updated, look. And the Commodore Pet has been updated. I've never actually played on one of them. It's surprising. I clicked this update every day. I've actually turned it on, and there's been updates. I think these calls and I get uh, little mini sort of updates quite often. Ah, it is on there. Right, cool. I thought it was. I'm not very good at that game though. Even though I do own the board of it, I'm pretty terrible at it. <laughs> Yeah, so it's pretty simple, and and then it's basically just dump the stuff in there yourself. Like I said, uh, Internet Archive is probably a friend. You'll probably find everything you need on it. Even the um, the Neo Geo ROM set is on it. That's a little bit more tricky getting working on you, but it's pretty simple. It's just you may need to do a little bit of um, that's it. The J Jitco Jayco. Or whatever his name, Jutko, or whatever he pronounces his name, he's the guy who did the, um, actually he's done updates for um, 1943 and all like by Commando. He updates his course quite often, man. Like That guy is, is pretty damn busy. Ah, the CPS course got an update as well. See, it's worth checking this every time you put it on because you'd be surprised how often it gets updated. So I can post a link to the guy that I got mine off. It's pre-set up. He's got it for 350 quid pre-set up. Literally plug and play unless you want to chuck some more stuff on there yourself. Uh, which one was that now? Was that for the... Uh, what was that for now? I can't remember what uh, games are on it.
That was a few weeks ago as well, wasn't it? Slept a lot since then, see? Look at there's quite a lot of updates. He's been busy updating his Capcom cores. Oh, is that the... Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did check it out. I'm sure I downloaded some stuff off there, actually, as well. Yeah, it's got the it's got the one two eight. It came with it, all pre done. The BIOS get. I, I was trying to get the Mega CD get, uh, ROMs working, but I could only get the making games to run, and I couldn't get it to recognise any of the um, BIOSes I had. But literally, all you got to do is delete the BIOS out of the Mega CD or any of the other folders in there, and then just run BIOS get or by run this update script, and it'll just put the right BIOS in it. Yeah, there's, you can do analog. Somebody's uh, making a JAMA connection for it for cabs as well, which I think is going to come out pretty soon. Uh, I'll give you the link. Uh, I'll find it now. Yeah, the guy I got, I got it off. He's super helpful as well. Um, he did post one up there as well um, yesterday. Hello. Well, the the Mister is definitely better than the Classic because you're pretty much getting hardware emulation, and the Mister is pretty fantastic, basically. But when you're using the computer cores, obviously the ease of use is not quite the same, and obviously the PlayStation Classic emulates a lot more arcade games. So I I think I think they both got their place. To be honest, I don't I don't I don't think emulation will ever go away anyway. I think emulation and FPGAs have both got their place, but I think FPGAs probably are the future of uh, retro gaming. But yeah, the PlayStation Classic is still good. It's still there, all locked up, ready to go. Yeah, there's some weird controversy going on with the Polymega at the moment, isn't there? They've, they've pulled their machines from... Um, Walmart, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. And then they put they put the price up by fifty quid and then they give everyone who moved from Walmart uh, a fifty quid off voucher. So you ended up you ended up paying the I think it was either the same or more. I can't remember exactly as it was, but uh yeah, there's some weird controversy going on. Yeah, I don't think emulation's going anywhere either. I, I think emulation, you know, is fantastic as well. You know, if you if you want more accuracy, FPGA is where you go. But you know, emulators will get better because there's a Mega Drive emulator called Blastem, which is cycle accurate as well. So, you know, I think both will always they'll just get better and better. But yeah, I think emulation and FPGAs. I I don't think, you know, any of them are going anywhere. Basically, um, let's have a look. Purchase history. Yeah, that, that looks quite interesting, what you can do with that uh, Xbox X. That looks like a pretty nice little emulation machine. Once you get that uh, mode going on it. Eh? Right, here we go. Has he still got one for, for sale? Let me see if I can go to his... Um... Yeah, he's still got it up for sale as well. I'm surprised no one's bought it. Uh, one second, let me post it in the chat. Yeah, that's the guy I bought it off. He's got one up for sale at the moment. Comes with uh, everything you need for the Mister. 128 gig RAM. Literally all packed in a 3D printed case. Uh, all you need basically is a keyboard and an HDMI cable. And the joypad or joystick or whatever to play it on. That's literally it. Uh, he set up the a load of the computer cores were set up. Most of the consoles were up and running with ROMs. Uh, Neo Geo was working. All the arcade games are already on there. So he literally just set it all up. Yeah, FP, 
I think, you know, the future retro game is definitely going to be FPGA. I don't... Going by... Um, oops, I'm still going. Going by the guy who uh, who made the Mr. Project, he said that um, where, the, where the Mr. is at the moment, this is quite interesting, when he said where the Mr. is at the moment and it's been subsidised by um, Intel, they reckon the Intel are pretty much selling it for... Um, yeah, Intel are pretty much selling it for basically at half the price at a loss, and they were saying for he was saying for your bang for your buck, um, FPGA the mist is perfect. It's really powerful for what it is, and it can do a hell of a lot of stuff. And they were asking you, know, do you think the what a never FPGA will be the the next jump? And he pretty much said pretty much the next jump is in FPGAs in power. You're going to pay like a grand for. So he said the Misto at the moment where it's been subsidised um, is in the perfect place and at the moment is cheap because Intel are at some point going to actually put the money, put the uh, price up on it. But yeah, he, he, say, he says the next year, if you want to do upgrade this FPGA, you're going up a fair amount in price because, uh, you know, it should be sold for about two, three hundred quid. Pretty much you get FPGAs, that's how much they go for. So yeah, that's what he was saying. It was Quite interesting. Right in. Yeah, so that's how you update it. Pretty simple. I was playing Bubble Bobble the other night. I love Bubble Bobble. That core is really nice as well. Uh, actually, let's go to the end of it because I played some of the stuff at the beginning. So you go, Zach, and there's some interesting stuff on you. Warriors of Fate. A lot of a lot of the cores are older cores. You went squadron, I really like. So we'll go that. Yeah, that, that link I sent is pretty much if it turned out did it did the link actually work? Ah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, that, that guy's really good. That's why I got mine off. Very helpful. Um really fast as well. Nice printed case and it literally it comes with everything you need. You don't need to buy any extra bits for it. Yeah, I love Buster Move too. Oh man, when that game first came out, I got really addicted to it. Right, okay. So what you need to do is, every time you load a core up you haven't used before, you need to define your controls, which is nice and easy. Start, kind, pause. Nice and simple. Um, and there's two types of scalers on you as well. You've got the internal built-in scalers. These are built into the actual... Um, the mister itself, like you've got sharp scan lines. Some of the scan lines don't quite look right, though, the built-in ones. I don't think they're made quite properly for the cores. The same as gamma correction and audio filters. I don't think there's any audio filters on you. I wouldn't use them anyway. Uh, but usually in most of these cores, you can like change the aspect ratio, take the screens. Uh, that's the one I've been using with the scan lines. And there's lots of stuff you can mess around with. Like you've got the original filters, turbo mode if you want it, which I've never tried. And you've got the dip switch uh, settings as well. And then what, once you've set up what you need to do, you can just save it the next time. Yeah, 314. I, I paid um, 300 for mine, so he's put it up a little bit. But but i got to be honest, at the price that he sold it to me for 300, he can't be making much money off him. Because he, he's supplying the 128 gig um, SD card with it as well. So you're talking, what, they're about 18, 19 quid, plus the mister, plus all the add-on boards. And I think he's saving the money where he's 3D printing the cases himself. But the case is tidy. Does the job. It's nice, nice and solid case. Does everything you need, really. Uh, should we have Greg? Let's go for the Tomcat, should we? Yeah, so this is the CBS One call. I like this game. I wish the SNES game was actually... It is a conversion, this one. What am I thinking of the second one? Carrier A-Wing. This is caviar, isn't it? Oh. 
I remember playing this in the arcades back in the day. They had in, um, it used to be an arcade in uh, Caffilly called Music Man Video. It was basically a video shop. Actually, I know, I know the, it was, uh, my mate's auntie used to run it. I didn't know, I didn't know him at the time, but, um, they always had arcades in there and they, they had this in there. said the the you know there is a cps2 call coming this year and you quite might have a pgm call yeah this is better than the snes one the snes is a version of the original game and this this is essentially the second game yeah. unless i got it completely wrong a carrier a wing i don't know i might be wrong Because the snatch one is Area 88, isn't it? Snatch one's good, but the setup on the snatch one is a little bit annoying, isn't it? Where you've got to get enough money, and half the time you die and you don't get enough money, you've got to keep repeating the levels. I like it though, it's good. You have the original ass of it. But yeah, they used to have this in that arcade. The only arcade I think I ever seen it back in the day. I remember <laughs> I used to um, I used to have BMX. I used to take up a like it was a shitty BMX, but I quite liked it. Tires were wrecked and stuff on it, and I remember taking it up there, leaving it outside, and I ended up getting pinched. Just get it, I had to walk off. The bastard pinched my BMX. bike ever had pinched. You got one of them of you. Nice. Yeah, it might actually make it obsolete. That's quite nice, that CPS board as well, isn't it? How much money I got? Let's go for the expensive one. Increase vitality, shield, super shield. Ah, damn it. I remember thinking the carrier A wing is on the CPS 2. But yeah, this, this is literally better than the SNES one. This one's pretty decent though. Apart from the way they've set the game up in the SNES one, there's a bit annoying. I'm just getting pretty decent now. Well, those bombs are a pain in the ass.
took a fair bit of hitting then. Ah, oh, shit. Stop getting them. I'll pick the other plane. Alright, mate. Cheers for joining. Yeah, take it easy, dude. Da da. Yeah, I think that CPS uh, call is going to come out um, pretty fast. That Jago guy pretty much seems to be uh, easting them out really fast. Yeah, this is the first one here, really, isn't it? It's not carrier day wing. Carrier wing's different. It's a sequel, basically. Capcom made some classic uh, games back in the day, didn't they? I've got to admit, it's a shame that um, from modernish wise they don't really make that many games. They went sort of all Resident Evil and um, Street Fighter, didn't they, basically? So I suppose you got to go with the many years, I suppose, but um, yeah, it's a shame because they used to make some pretty fantastic games. I think I did it twice. Great. Black Tiger the other day as well. I like that game, but never any good at it. It's quite a tricky arcade game, I used to see that everywhere back in the day as well. It's quite a popular arcade game. I might do for this, I might get a scar lead for it. So I can output it to the TV and scar at the same time. Just check it through my frame by and then chuck it into the camp scar. Almost died then as well. That's cool. Yeah, the Ghost of Goblins remake. I don't know what to make it. I, I don't, I, the graphics on it, it's, it's that weird sort of like flat sort of drawn sort of look, doesn't it? It looks, it does make it look a little bit cheap, unfortunately. Well, 
But it, I don't know, it might be fun. You have to have a look at the other ports they got coming up as well. This guy's going to come in handy, be able to shoot on the floor. Five minutes definitely getting better. Yeah, I would have liked to own that uh, Dark Soft um, CPS2 board as well. But that's a really nice bit of kit, that is. Let's try not to get hit this time, then. It's going to be full engine, I think. Yep. Right, that's one done. Oh, did it? Whatever stuff come up by Capcom, then you got the ghouls and ghosts. What other little ports are they doing? Of course, the goblins or whatever. Dun, dun, dun. Um, should I go for the? Actually, I'm gonna go for that one and go for more energy. What other stuff is coming out? Yeah, that might be that might be a sensible idea. See, I, I I did do a HDMI kit was coming out for it, but um, yeah, going by these ports, that that guy's a bit of a perfectionist, I think. So I think that the uh, CPS two core ports are going to be probably perfect. I suppose with the mister as well, if you got the analog board, you can output your CRT as well, which I'm not interested in doing that. But I did get the um, I did get the analog board anyway, just in case, just to have the option. There's a loud helicopter. All right, that's not something you can collect. <laughs> That is all, is it? Oh, my engine's not looking good. <laughs> oh, shit, he fired at me. Uh oh.
I gotta be careful, he's gonna fire at me as well. Oh, that'd be silly. Ooh, I was leggy. Yeah, it does look a nice bit of kit. I'm gonna pause a second, just need to go for a go for a tinkle, be back in a second. Right, I'm back. I was lucky to that level then. I like this game. I like Carrier A Wing better, I would say, but um, uh, how much is that? 1500. Not going to give me enough money, is it? Could buy that now, though. I managed to get that in. One sec. Must be all the people involved in this or something. It is damn nice this uh, CP1, CPS1 core mind, I've got to say.
And we've lost a bit of energy as well. Got him as he passed. Extra NG instead of the shield, I think. Maybe they didn't leave the SNES game like a bit more like the arcade one, other than adding those extra bits to it. Which, I, to be honest, I don't think they did work that that well. Pam does the job. Need that, that's energy. Damn. Question is, shall I continue? Oh, you bastard. Ah, if I continue. Go on, I'll continue. I didn't continue. Yeah, the guy who can fight on the floor is quite useful. He's fun fighting, it's not not as good as the other ones. Probably the one in the middle is probably one of the best ones. Probably the best overall one. You can't crash into it. I 
sure what the green ones actually do. Slowly bowed up. Pretty lucky them those trains just came from there. Didn't have a um, thousand odd more points. Bombs are pain in the ass. That power up. Oh, five is looking pretty good now. Oh, bugger. Oh, that's not good. That's what I did. Oh, I just got to destroy that bit. Nice. Mm. Never got enough to buy the other stuff.
survived it. I just wonder if we could actually go down that far. Ooh, I'm safe there, that's mad. Am I completely safe here? Bad, that level. Got a fun little game, this is. 39. Never enough again. Just off, I could have bought the bigger ones. Definitely want to get that NG. What if the shield's worth getting? What if you get money for the rocks? No. Money for shooting the planes. Pretty hard to get enough money to buy uh, loads of weapons though. Planes are flying to snipe you. Like that. Um. Right, wait till it starts flashing this time. Yeah, I'm not actually using a joystick on this, um, on this mister. I'm using a wireless satin pad at the moment, which seems to be working rather nice on you. Yeah, no worries, mate. Like, catch you again. Cheers for joining. It's been a pleasure and emotional experience as always. Ooh, we're actually going to have to buy... Shit, just off. I gotta need that as well, mate. Shame I'm just off that. from the ceiling. Oh shit, my engine's gone. Oh, did I actually manage to do it? Oh, and then the level. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a wireless um, satin pad. It's rather nice. The only thing, it, it <laughs> I could do an extra button for the menu on you instead of pressing the keyboard. But the button it's got on you, I can't use it for a menu button, unfortunately. But I might. 
Ooh, got quite a lot of money this time. for that one and that one I do like satin pads this it feels like a brand new satin pad basically this one this is wireless one 2.4 gigahertz as well so there's pretty much no lag on you I don't have to be careful going to the bottom because those planes are uh, Whether that was actually worth doing that then. Oh god, one it, I'm dead. I was going to say end you would be nice. Oop, I got a one expect now. Oh, I don't know what that is. Ooh, is that like full power or something? No NG. Right, what is this thing gonna chuck at me? Oh, did it? Nice. Yeah, catch you on eight bit if you're still there. Doing all right. Never actually finished the arcade one, this, so. I'm gonna go for the 3000, I think. Proper napalm, and I'm gonna go for shield this time. Five hits. I did can for the NG as well, but. That's the first hit gone, the shield. Okay, that's not good. Oh, I missed the um, Capcom guy then. Planes coming fast. And I'm not going to rush forward together.
Tag. Muss man hier verbraten. Flying NG, I think. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't have enough. Ooh, is that a mistake? We shall see. boss fight time or so. Yeah, uh, bombs as well, they'll take my energy quite a bit. Shit, that's not good. That. Oh shit. Okay. Oh my god, how many guns have got nothing? Oh, lucky again. I mean, super lucky in some of these bosses. Right, I've got enough to go for that on the five shield. actually go down there so I'm not I'm not gonna attempt it. Shit. On two mount. I don't want to go up and tempt to try and kill them things. I'm going to have to try and get past it now. Mm. 
Right, how do I get... Oh shit, there's all I got. Shit, I'm gonna have to go in there. Ah! I'm gonna have to continue now, aren't I? This is probably the last boss. Can't continue on the last boss. Ah, I can't continue on the last boss. Nearly. Right, whatever cause we got. Did quite well. Yeah, UN Squadron. That's a, is that actually UN Squadron? Because, or am I thinking of um, oh, what's this? What's the sequel called? Carrier A Wing. That's it. That's the one I'm thinking of. I prefer Carrier A Wing, but that's good as well, mind. Golgoth is quite a interesting little shoot map. Trojan, that used to be everywhere back in the day, Trojan. It's a good game, but it's solid. Time Pilot. Uh, what else we got? Free Wonders. Free Wonders is a nice one. King of Dragons. you got to say that, sort of Northern. King of Dragons. What else man doing Northern? It's probably not good. Uh, what's this? Super... I love Strider. Class arcade game. In fact, I'm gonna try it out today. Ah, I used to have the arcade board in this back in the day. Should have kept it. Oh well. I've had this happen. Sometimes you load a call in occasionally, and something goes wrong. I think the Mister occasionally needs a restart. I'll try and set um, the menu buttons again. See if I can get a see if I get a button a button go in. So basically, uh, remap choice right? So you don't need down. I don't need stick test tilt. I don't need that. So uh, left down up. Need X Y left button right button. Select start. Uh, mouse move right, no, mouse move left, no. There is a spare button on it, but it doesn't... Unfortunately, it doesn't register as a button. It'd be perfect, this pad would be lovely if it did, because you wouldn't need a keyboard there. The only problem is I could set a menu button to the... Yeah, it's going to work in most games, that is, but it's not going to work in everything. Actually, do I need do I need the left and right in the menu? Just wondering, actually. I don't think I actually need the left and right in the actual menu. This is just literally for the menu. So right down. Uh, skip, skip. So if I do that, uh, down, up. X, Y, B, X. Uh, so if I do uh, left, right, select, start, I can actually have a menu button. I don't need it in the main menu. And then again, it might not work for SNES games. We'll try that now. Um... Don't think it's going to work right for SNES games. I can get the menu up. That's going to work in SNES games as well. So that's actually oh, it's not going to work. 
Just wish I had one extra button. <laughs> one extra button be perfect. All right, left, down, up, B, X, Y, L, Z. Um, select. Do I need select in the menu? Or you can use two button combo. Ooh, that's quite useful. Um, oh, that's quite handy. You can use a two button combo. So I could use. I'm not going to run them at the same time. Okay. I didn't realize you could do that. So I can go back to the menu by pressing. Uh... Oh, we're good. That's handy as hell. Right, anyway, where were we? And Strider. I love the arcade of Strider. Sandy, I don't need the keyboard. That is handy as hell, you can do that. But I'll have coin there, pause there. Okay. Don't want to do any extra stuff. I want to add two percent scan lines. And that's it, I think. Save. Yeah, where's my credit button not working? Okay. Yeah. I think I just picked the wrong game. But one, two, three, four, five, six. Start. Coin. Pause. Oh, well, since we got this on, we may as well go over. It should be like this game. That Wait, one second. Coins not working. One, two, three, one, two, three. Start coin pause. Let's see if that works. Coin is pause. It's weird. That's strange. Uh, let me just put the buttons back as they were. Left, down, up. One, two, three, one, two, three. Start, coin, pause. Combo system in this. Round two. Buying this on the uh, PlayStation, my mate had uh, popped to um, US on a wrestling tour, which is quite random. Uh, and he brought this back for the PlayStation when it first came out. 
Street Fighter Zero Three is really good. I'll be on the CPS Two call, which is pretty awesome. She's got character rules. Controversy instead of nice music, mind. Now and then. I love being much. One of my fighters are wicked. Surprised. I like him on here, I do. I'm not doing my, uh, what I want to do. Dragon Punch and but One, five, <laughs> 
Didn't fall for that, Andy. Oh, nice grab. Down for running into So trying to jump away. Ken's my favourite character in this game. And um, him and Sodom, basically. A lovely end, isn't it? Name Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I think it is. You can mess around with um, filters and stuff on it. Okay. And there's volumes high. 
There is other stuff you've got to mess around with as well, I think. This cord is supposed to be really accurate as well, so perhaps it is. I know what you mean, though. Dun, 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 dun. It's the Q sound. I, uh, the guy was saying that the Q sound on this is basically like spatial sound. It's like sort of pseudo surround sound. And he said that's the hardest thing to get right on you. And he, he did say that it, it does have a few inconsistencies, which he's trying to patch out. It got patched today, mate, so... Sounds about right, though, I think. Um... Uh, Star Jacker. That's like game is on the um, SG-1000, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, let's have a look. Define. Yeah, it is, aye. That's the arcade version. Play one start. Skip play two start. Do the keyboard to do that. Uh, video position, rotation. Once you set it up and save it, it keeps it. Yeah, apparently he said the Q sound is the hardest thing to actually get right. He said it's best described. It is like spatial sound. It's basically like false, free, false sort of like surround sound. Which is pretty much what it actually sounded like, wasn't it? Oh, bugger, this game's uh, quite a lot harder than you as well. I've never played the arcade of this. Actually, you can't kill the things on the floor. Oh, I thought. Oh, is that what I put? <laughs> I got like you said pimping. It's all right, but it's not too bad. I'm getting some good money anyway. It's a good idea for us to come up with that. It's quite funny. Quite a tricky game, uh, Star Jacker. Uh. Didn't realise this was an old uh, Sega arcade game, huh? Ah, dead. I was playing um, the SNES earlier. You can, um, you know, like the SA1 patches for games? There's a turbo mode, which pretty much does the same thing with every game. So, pretty much eliminates the slowdown in um, SNES games. <laughs> yeah, you might have said something else. Yeah, that's quite interesting. What else we got? Squish was an arcade game. Do we? Blunker. Space Invader, Space Invaders 2. Ah, oh, Solomon's Key, that's cool. Let's give it a try. 
this is quite an interesting arcade game I never really played, but I have played the uh, PC Engine version of it, which is actually really good. Um, oh. Where the hell is there? Have coin there. Okay, we'll do bonus life. It's quite cool to go dip switches and stuff as well. Video position. Yeah, it's quite. Uh, it is quite an interesting little game, is. Yeah, it does look like pretty, pretty spot on, doesn't it, from now? Looks pretty amazing, actually. Oh god, I'm in trouble. Pretty odd, maybe that was the easiest game to get running on it. Right, okay, you can't collect wherever they are then. How am I going to get it through there? That's the question. I forgot about that, but he, but he go around the blocks, doesn't he? Right, I've got to go back up here now. i got to go through here. I made the block in. This is tricky bit. Uh, I got fireball. Stuck for time here. Um, I need to go the other way. It is exactly the same as the PC Engine one. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I got it. It works fine. 
What's the spell on the key? They give you spells, these guys. Oh, this is the first I've ever got in the arcade game. Shit, yeah, I remember this level. This level's tricky. Um, okay, how the hell am I gonna get into that key? Try and save that uh, fairy weather then. Okay, the key's open, isn't it? I'll wait for that to drop. Oh, nice. That's cool. I'll have to have a look at them. I'll have to try and get them. Play them on the PC. Shit. He is a long way away. Um, okay. Bloody things in the way. Great. Yeah, I'll have to have a look. I'll have to get all the latest ones. Mm. <sighs> Looks like he won it. Um, oh, am I going to get any? I should have just got the block and went for it. <sighs> Quite a fun game, guys. Uh, what else have we got your arcade calls? Ah, so good. That's wicked, it runs all the games. That's, that's impressive as hell.
It is, yeah. I'll have to get them all now. They're all actually pretty much done and working. I used to like a silkworm arcade game. Uh, so controls right, left, down, up, left, left, uh, tilt. Why would I want tilt in this game? Uh, start coin pause. Why would I want tilt? Start coin pause. Uh, Ah, well, this is when these calls uh, have paused it. Remember the arcade this being difficult. Andy. Got all my fate, you know. It is a green air wolf. On the two player, you're um, like a jeep. You always suck to be the two player in this because the, the jeep is not as good. You start missing the shot by me. Can't be easy go. Ah, that'd be fine.
Nah, I'm trying to get in by then. Got shield up in. One tank took it off. Do some different music, or can we? Get down fast enough, and probably should have gone up. Ah, uh, a bad little game that one. we got on your course while you really good uh, sidearms i really like our game definitely need auto fire or a good joystick for that because you've got to bash those buttons like a crazy ninja uh so it's satan's hollow rygar's a cool game and uh russian attack is quite like robotron so i'm not quite sure what games are actually on you yeah power drive <laughs> popeye Probably it's quite a cool uh, old Nintendo arcade game. <laughs> Pelides. What else we got in here? Well, tell you what, before I shoot off, I'm going to I'll have one go of... Uh, actually, let's go this way because it'll be quicker. I could just go back to the menu. So, you too. Well, I one game of Cyberlip, and then I'm going to shoot off, I think. Oops, now we're getting a bit of. Uh, at least I am, anyway. Getting a bit of sync issues. If you get it on stream. Interested? Oh, you are a little bit. Wouldn't mind uh, learning into one credit this again. The new Jews answered to Contra, but like a poor man's Contra. But it's a good game, this is all I like it. I 
I like because the good guy is actually a bad guy. President's actually a bad guy. Ready, go! But no, me get the white shot, not a big fan of it. Seems good. Oh, damn. That's a good frame, though. <sighs> that was really stupid. Oh, that actually bugged off. Yeah. Can't be the last two days. Really want the normal firing for this. You want to, you want to, you want to kill the wheels when it's actually back. Usually, when you kill it back here, you're pretty safe, beer. Way to go. Takes you to the same place anyway. But one makes an emergency noise, one doesn't. Thank you. 
I like escape. Remember to get them. Ah, uh, damn, the Octopi is the one you want. Doop, doop. Nice, give me Octopi over there anyway. Weird. You don't normally you don't normally shoot at there. You're gonna ram me in a minute. Lucky, I thought he was gonna ram me. Quicker way through this game, or was you go do a couple more levels? You don't get crushed either by the things. Sure, there's more flying guys for you as well. Watch out. This boss is bloody hard. Oh, you gotta duck down, shit. quite far. Right, guys, I'm going to shoot. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, they're all good guys. You're, you're, you're supposed to be the good guy. You're getting, you're getting uh, tricked by the president. Because at the end of the game, once you finish it, he, um, 
he goes basically, um, oh, they're over, you defeated everyone, the world is now ours. And then his uh, eyes flash red. So he's actually one of the robots. So all these guys are actually the good guys. I used to be able to do it with one credit as well. <laughs> it's one of the games I had for my Neo Geo back in the day. I always quite like this game. So this Neo Geo call is good, isn't it? Uh, and it, um, I, uh, I've hacked it all as well, and I've got some I shot on perfect working on you as well. The military android has landed in the uh, town yeah. area. All you got to do is literally check it in here and hack the um, XML file. So basically add it in. Once you've added it in, it works. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, the president's telling you they're all attacking, the robots are attacking. So you go out and attack them all. You get to the end and kill them all. And then he says, uh, they've all gone down the world just now hours. And his eyes flash and the screen goes black. So he's, he's actually evil. Yeah, so I got perfect working. We just need to put this in the um, bit where it gets 64 to 128, uh, well, 64 basically gigabyte of RAM. It runs perfect. Put the wrong one. Yeah, it is perfect though. You notice there's no story bits. It's the two perfect ROMs. Unless... Yeah, I don't know why it said it doesn't say perfect on title screen. There's, eight, there's two of them on you. I put on you. I'm not sure exactly what the difference is between the ROMs, mind. I wonder if something do because it's the home version. Uh, hang on. Do the uni BIOS. If I do console, so if I do uh, Japan, I do arcade. Yeah, it's odd. They are the, the perfect ROMs, though. It probably says in uh, Japanese. As if you notice, there's no there's no story bits, is it? Or did hang on, did they add story bits in Imperfect? Or did they take them away? I can't remember. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> Hang on a minute, so if you've got normal Sam, I showed on 5.
So that's normal Salmon Showdown 5. Um, which one would be special? Yeah, it is special. So, right, so let's compare it to the special ROM. It's got a different colour title screen as well, if you notice. So if I chose the... I don't know where the sound's gone. Uh, I do a soft reboot. Hold that down and then do Japan and then do Arcade. What sort of type of screen to begin now? So I show down... Right, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Eh? Weird. I have to double check that then. Alright, it needs to restart. Occasionally you have to restart the mister. I don't know. They were definitely the perfect ROM though. Um I'll have to double check it. I'll have to double check the perfect ROMs I've got on. On the PCM later. Pad config. Hmm. I wonder. I'll start five up now and have a look. Kubikiri Basara. Izo Jinjoni. Alright, so that starts like that then. So Samurai Showdown 5 special. Um, yes, it's the Dark Soft ROM, so it probably will. Hmm, I don't know that. I'll have to double check the ROM just in case. Maybe it's a slightly different version. They were down as Samurai Soldier Special. And they were the ones that I had on my, um, on my drive. So, I don't know, I'll have to check. I'm gonna shoot off. Cheers for joining and stuff, and I'll be um I should be back on tomorrow I think. As usual. No me. Let's see. Yeah, he does admit a few things, doesn't he? Hmm. Hang on a minute. Let me have the ones I down the ones I had on there that were downloaded. Let me double check. So, uh, yeah, this free ROM set is the FE, FEP, and uh, PF. I think they are the special versions. Okay, that's. They have to be slightly changed though to actually work on um, on here. I think they did anyway, because they've got like an FPGA core in them. So I don't know whether the actual the ROMs themselves are slightly different. Yeah, because the, the one's got it's got an FPGA uh, FPGA file in there. I'm just looking now. Yeah, they are different ROMs. They're not. Uh, they're not the, like the standard ROMs. I think they're decrypted as well. Um, 
calculated if they actually work it. Hmm, don't know when. Well, it didn't come as a Dark Soft ROM set, but they are set up inside there like the Dark Soft ROM set. Pretty much. Because they got, they got like, they're, they're basically like decrypted versions. They're not quite like the, new, the standard Neo Geo ROM set. If that makes any sense. See if I can find him in another emulator. How I should on special? They say the title screen is different though. It doesn't say perfect, but hang on. Let me let me start perfect up on um, Epic Games a minute. Just have a quick look. What happens when I start it? See if it's actually any different. Well, the official one, yeah. I want to see if they, we're missing anything, just to prove it wrong. Maybe they just slightly sort of, I don't know, packed ROMs or something. Um, okay. Library. Get my samurai, isn't it? Here we go. I'll start the PC one up. Samurai Showdown 5 Special. Yeah, it is slightly different, isn't it? It does say it on the um Let's say that on the PC one. On the collection. Alright. Let me start out. Just want to see if it starts up the same. Okay. Summer showed on perfect. They were done a Samurai Show on perfect ROM, so I don't know. Didn't show me the title screen then. I don't want to see if uh, it kicks in any sort of different story or anything. No, that kicks in exactly the same. I'm sure some of the levels are slightly different colours as well, Nick. Um, let me see if I can get to the title screen again. Uh, special mode. Didn't actually show me a title screen. Let's try again. I won't start it this time. I'll let it go for the intro to see if the title screen is different. I know some of the levels. Are different in colour, aren't they? In fact, actually, I should be able to put them both, both up at the same time. Um, okay, they are running at the same time. What's the PC one say? The problem with the PC one, as soon as you press the button, it automatically goes into it. Just notice it's set to level 2 as well. Well, the start now looks pretty much in. It has piqued my interest, though. Right, it does say perfect in English.
Hmm. Don't know that. Yeah, it's weird. They are definitely, definitely a little bit different. I don't know. I'll have to double check. Right. Anyway, I'll I'll have a look at that tomorrow. See if I can figure out what's going on. But they were definitely down as uh, Sam I should on perfect. So it's a bit odd that it's not saying perfect on the title screen. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna shoot off, guys, and I'll um, we'll catch you tomorrow. Big soon does.